Hi, I'm Chad with Move for a Guitar. This lesson is from our series Guitar Chords for Beginners. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play an open C7 chord. Here's an open C7 chord. And this is a really nice chord that you can learn as a beginner, but I definitely don't recommend learning it first. There's other chords that are more common and will be more useful to you. And if you look in the description, there's links to those chords. Although if you want to learn the blues, it's a chord that you should learn pretty early on because it's used all the time in the blues. But most people starting out don't jump right into the blues, so I would recommend learning the other chords first. And one reason this isn't the most useful chord as a beginner as far as learning it as one of your first chords is because if you're playing in the major scale keys, it would be in the key of F. And the key of F is a really hard key to play in. Most beginners would never play in the key of F unless, F unless they're using a capo and playing other chord shapes. But like I said, if you're playing the blues, it's a very useful chord that you can use. And it's a shape that you'll use all the time in the blues. Even advanced players use this shape. So it is worth learning early on. So the fingering for this chord is your third finger on the fifth string, third fret. Your second finger on the fourth string, second fret. Your fourth finger on the third string, third fret. And your first finger on the second string, first fret. And if you notice, you just have a regular open C major chord right here if I take off my fourth finger. So you can play the regular open C major chord and then just add your fourth finger on the third string, third fret. Now you have a C7 chord. And you could, in some situations, go back and forth from the C major to the C7 and do something like this. And that can add a lot of nice color to your sound. So if you can play the open C major chord, which you should be able to before you take this lesson, it shouldn't be too difficult for you, although it will take some practice because you're adding in your fourth finger and fretting an extra note. And with this chord, the first string you leave open and you mute out the sixth string. So you can either mute it out with your third finger just by lightly touching up underneath mm -hmm and keeping that from ringing out, or you can do it with your thumb if your hands are big enough. And that way you won't have to worry about hitting it, because if you leave that six string in, it'll become really muddy. And with this chord, you can leave the first string in, or you can let that mute out. So if you're having trouble getting that first string to ring out, it doesn't matter if it's muted out, this is still a C7 chord without it. So you could mute out the sixth and the first string, it doesn't matter, because you have that note in this chord already with your second finger. So that's an open C7 chord.